generations. And now, the power of two restores the one. We got a bidet! Hey everybody and welcome back for another video. In today's video we are talking about a pretty exciting announcement, at least in my opinion. Um, Aspire has announced that there is going to be another Star Wars um, retro game being brought to current consoles. As, as, you, as you can see behind me and as you can see in the thumbnail, it is Star Wars Episode 1 Jedi Power Battles. Um, if you're not aware of what this game is, Honestly, I think it was kind of a confusing um, release when it first came out. So when the original, you know, merch and everything was coming out for Star Wars Episode One, there was a video game that was released that was Star Wars The Phantom Menace. It was on the PlayStation and I think the computer. I don't remember 100%. Um, I don't know because I never played it back when. But there was also this game called Jedi Power Battles. And, you know, from the outside looking in, it kind of looked like the Phantom Menace, which is exactly what it was. Um, but there's some key differences that was part of the original release. One was that you could play as Mace Windu. Uh, it, and, you know, from watching the movie, Mace Windu doesn't even ignite his lightsaber in the entire episode one. So... It was pretty cool to be able to play as him. And there's some other playable characters as well, even if you get so far to uh, unlocking Darth Maul, which is a really cool thing to do as well. Back when the game came out, uh, it was also released on the Game Boy Advance, and that's how I was exposed to it. I played this game on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, it still had the same structure where it followed Episode 1, and you had the option to play it as a bunch of different Jedi. And I loved the game as a kid. It was really, really good. And so what do we got today? Well, Aspire, just like they've been doing with these new or the re-releases of these games and also adding a thing or two to the games, uh, that's what we get here for Jedi Power Battles. I was pretty stoked to see this. Um, but not only do we get the game on current consoles, um, being PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One and Series, and also Nintendo Switch, um, we're going to get all... The, the, the main game itself, plus we're going to get uh, 13 playable characters, which is significantly more than what we had in the very beginning when this first came out. Uh, there's going to be co-op, which is going to be really cool. And there's going to be like a cheat code type um, mode where we can expand on things as well, like, like big head mode, so to speak. Uh, and they showcase that in the trailer with Qui-Gon Jinn, I believe. Uh, the 13 new characters, that's pretty cool. Uh, and also, I forgot, there was also some missions that were new too. So I think there's like a training mode or something that was added so you can practice your platforming and your combat and all that good stuff. Um, this game is basically a platformer and a uh, beat-em-up in a way uh, where you, know, you do some platforming from here to here, but then there's also uh, a section of enemies that you'll take out uh, as you play. So there is also some other cool things that I thought was interesting about this um, Aspire release. And one of them is that if you look behind me, Mace Windu now has his purple lightsaber. Um, back when, like before Disney acquired Star Wars, in this game, Mace Windu had a blue lightsaber. His original lightsaber was blue and so well in episode one and then episode two he had a different lightsaber but what i also think is interesting here is that 
back when in the episode one versus episode two, the lightsaber hilts were different. They were much different. I would say his lightsaber for episode one was a bit more plain, as you can kind of see here, because they actually didn't change the hilt. This is not the episode two hilt. So they did update the color. They did not update the hilt. Um, I don't know all the different lore with the books and comic books and stuff. So maybe this was the hilt that Mace Windu had before with the purple crystal and then changed the hilt. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just letting you know that uh, up front. But I do think it's kind of a cool change that uh, they updated the color. That way it's, you know, matching what he had in episode two. Um, yeah. So this game comes out pretty soon. Uh, it's not too far away. And I look forward to checking it out. I think it was marked at $19.99. Uh, if you haven't played it before, I do recommend checking it out. It, Especially with all the added features, it'll be great uh, to go back and check out these games uh, that they've been releasing. You know, they've done, I think, Knights of the Old Republic, Bounty Hunter. Uh, I believe they did Force Unleashed as well. Um, just a whole bunch of things with Aspire. Now, I understand they did Battlefront, and that collection got kind of uh, a bad rap when it was released. But hey, things do happen. I completely understand that they kind of muffled that one. But this is a single, or this is an offline game. should be more clear, because there is a co-op component now. This is an offline game. As far as I know, there's no online component. So uh, I think that this one is going to be a great one to check out. All right, if you enjoyed this type of video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Drop a like if you liked the video and drop a comment letting us know your thoughts on this release. And also, because Aspire has been bringing a lot of old games back, which ones are you looking forward to in the future? And then as always, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.